California, I urge you to vote no on Proposition 22 Uber and their disgraced army of attorneys and counsel have paid over $200 million to buy your vote. We've seen Big Pharma, we've seen Big Oil, we've seen the tobacco industry do this in the past. Don't fall for these cheap tricks. Here are some facts. You, the Californian, bailed them out to the tune of $413 million during the pandemic because they paid nothing into the safety net. As of January the 1st, 2020, California has very clear laws that are in effect called AB5. But Lisa Tse and her crew, you know what? They're above the law. They think they don't have to comply with California laws, right? And time and time again, they get sued. You hear it in the media every week. Just today, ladies and gentlemen, it was announced that the lawyers at Uber formed a nonprofit and sent millions of yes on Proposition 22 mailers to your doorstep through the United States Postal Service, through this nonprofit. And who picked up the tab? You did, California. They didn't pay that. Did you ever, did you know that? Did you ever question that, right? So for a company that has never ever paid into the system, that has done nothing for California, every quarter they declare loss after the loss, their stock is trash, it's in the 30s, way below the $45 mark. It's been there, it's hovered there, it's been there forever. We should not bail them out. They have their companies registered in offshore accounts overseas. They don't pay into the system. They use your bridges, they use your roads, your highways, your byways, your streets, your airports, and they don't pay into the system. They pay this much into the system. In California, you have to vote no on Proposition 22. You have to stop bailing out greedy Uber and their disgraced attorneys. And I have a message for you, Lisa, to say, you know, you're part of that gang that misclassifies drivers, puts drivers down, denies them their rights, denies them their health care so that you can get paid supersonic salaries. But when you leave that ship, that sinking Titanic ship, and you're out there on the streets looking for a new job, I hope that every or any law firm that sees Lisa Tse coming through their doors actually